you were the only player in double figures and scoring on either side tonight. So in a game that was pretty low scoring, what allowed you to get 18? Um, I think my teammates making, making open shots for me and distributing the ball well really contributed to my high scoring. Um, I think when we drive and kick, it opens up a lot of opportunities and being physical in the paint is uh, um, crucial as well. So when your team gets 50 points, I, I think it's a pretty good bet that you're going to get the W. So far, four games into this season, you have allowed 27, 28, 28, and tonight 23. How has your team been so good on that side defensively? I think we communicate really well on the defensive end. Um, staying in help, yelling, helping each other to get where we need to be in order to stop the ball is um, very important. We communicate very well on the defensive end. I thought part of what made the game change over from the for the Knights' perspective was, and we mentioned this off the air, teams that press do not like to be pressed. Did you notice that yes, as well? Yes, Did you work on the press this week in practice prior to coming, and did you expect Mount Lebo to press you? Yes, we did work on um, a press break. We also worked on the press as well. We knew Mount Lebo would press um, and be physical with the ball, so we worked on um, staying low, keeping the ball in like good defensive position and um, moving the ball well, communicating and getting the ball off the court without turnovers. You're a younger player on this roster that uh, for the most part doesn't have a lot of seniors. It's a younger group and there's even freshmen who contribute. How much do you think this team can still continue to grow from here until when their season ultimately ends? I think the only way to go is up from here because um, the seniors have really uh, taken a lot of the underclassmen under their wing, showing us the way and how all the plays work. When someone's confused, everyone's helping each other out. And um, I really think the only way to go is up because it's looking good from here on out. One of those seniors that was not available tonight, Savannah Schneck, and I know that she's so important when she is out there on the floor. And Coach Brzezewski said he thinks sooner rather than later she'll be back. How much of a boost is she going to provide? She's lots of energy on the bench. She's lots of energy on the court. She distributes well. She's physical. She's very crucial to the team, and I think as well as we're doing now, we can still improve, and Sav will be a big help and uh, very crucial to that improvement as well. What have you set as goals this year? Um, I wanted to be more physical on the defensive end, um, more aggressive. Uh, I think defense leads to lots of offensive opportunities, so I'm trying to shoot the ball more and get a lot of mid-range looks. Those are my goals. Um, just staying aggressive as a whole. How about team-wise? Team-wise, I think um, passing the ball, always getting that one more, getting open shots for your teammates is very important. Um, trying not to be selfish, more like unselfish. Um, the energy on the bench is amazing. It really helps contribute to the high scoring. And I think as a whole, it's really improved. Lastly, uh, we just heard from Brian Brozeski. He's uh, been here for a dozen years, closing in on 200 career victories. What are his best qualities as a head coach? Um, he really understands the game. He has a really high IQ. He knows how to stop teams like Mount Lebo that are physical. He knows um, they, they press, they press physically, and he knew how to prepare us for this game. That way we could come out of here with a W. Well, you got that W in pretty convincing fashion. Kendall, thanks for doing this. Of course. All right, Kendall Berger.